Well, we are glad to welcome today, and he slowed down just long enough. We've been sharing just before our interview today that uh, he is on the road uh, quite uh, frequently and uh, a lot of things going on in his life. Musical artist J.Q. Jake, good it is day, good to good see day. you. Thank you for having me. Well, thank, thank you for you. stopping by. I had to run out and catch you because you were going pretty fast. That's to, right, that's uh, to right. Get by. You stay on the road pretty busy. Yeah, we do. And uh, in this business, if you're not moving, you're losing. So, Absolutely. And yeah. people don't know your name if you're not uh, if you're not moving around. That's right. JQ the legend. That's Absolutely. right. Absolutely. You hail from New Orleans, is that right? I call New Orleans home, but I'm originally from the Caribbean. A lot mm -hmm. of family in Jamaica and St. Croix. But uh, New Orleans has been home for more than a decade. Um, that's where I became a legend, and uh, um, a lot of the kids say, hey, you look like Lil Wayne, but I said, for me to be Lil Wayne, <laughs> I'd have to get a mouthful of uh, gold right, teeth right. and uh, diamonds, and he'd have to go to law school. There you go. And neither of those things are probably going to happen, so there now, we go. Now, you, you refer to yourself as a legend. What makes you a legend? Because I think we all are, mm -hmm. and what I'm trying to make sure my audience know is that we all are legends. You're a legend here. You're a legend in what you do. The uh, people in the audience, my audience, and people who love what I do, they're legends at home, they're legends to their kids, we're all are legends. Prior to diving in full-time in music and uh, we're making a new Christmas movie, I was a lawyer, a trial wow. lawyer. Uh, in fact, uh, about three weeks ago, I won a second degree uh, murder case that um, came out the right way because mm -hmm. uh, there's just a lot of bad things that are done to people and people do. Um, but that's where I cut my teeth and really, you know, became a person professionally that I respect, others respect, family respect. Mm -hmm. And coming into music now, that's the part that I get to enjoy and embrace success because I, I know what success is. So I bring the legend from uh, taking time to get a good education, going to law school on a full scholarship, and then leaping out of that into the thing that I always wanted mm -hmm. to do. And I think we're all legends because we all want to be, I think, parents. We all want to be mentors. We all want to have a career. We all want to do something we love to do. Sure. And that's where the legend and is. And you're still practicing law. I hope not to be ever again mm -hmm. <laughs> because I've spent enough time mm -hmm. um, with breakout music. I got the Meek Mills deal. I think people who are into hip hop knows what that is, the mm -hmm. Jay-Z type deal where I'm an executive on the label. So I deal with contract work for them, but I also am a talent on the label. I help write the music, perform the music, and I'm also in the movies. So um, it's a dream, man. It's a dream. And I hope never, ever to be in a courtroom again. And uh, unless it's on television, so sure. that's what maybe, we're doing. Maybe not. Talk a little bit about the style of music that you specialize in. I like to call what I do a fusion of uh, hip hop, Afro beat, and pop. So I call it Afro hip hop. Um, my lyrics are upbeat. Uh, they're going to make you feel good. Mm -hmm. I think we have some trying times ahead in the economy. Mm -hmm. uh, we may be looking at trade wars. We may be looking at actual wars. JQ, the legend music, is that music that you can put on during the holidays mm -hmm. and have a good feeling. No one's going to get killed in my music. Okay. <laughs> no women are going to get pulled down in my music. So I'm not trying to sell, oh, positive music, because that doesn't work either. I'm selling a good time, fun mm -hmm. times and uh, real discussions about relationships between men and women. My song, Body Talk, is about how uh, we both need each other, men mm -hmm. and women, but then we're arguing and then we're fighting, but then we can't let each other go, we love each other. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just ta I'm giving the whole truth, and that's, sure. uh, that's what my music is. Caribbean, Jamaican, New Orleans New influence? Orleans, that's right, that's and right. Influence? Yes, that's that, right. And all those influences mix into your presentation pop, on stage. Yeah, my popular presentation, yes, yes. And uh, I tell you, man, we all are legendary. We all wear at least three titles, mm -hmm. whether you're a little brother, big brother, a father, a husband, a professional, and then you have some buddies that you're, you know, who love you. So we, we all can live a legendary life, and I'm proof of that. You already have a project that's out uh, on the table. You already yes. have an EP out. How is it doing? The song Body Talk, uh, I did a remix with Hood Celebrity. She's mm -hmm. an artist from Jamaica, uh, based in New York. She signed to Epic. Um, we're number one on iTunes uh, for three weeks, number one on billboards for 
uh, two weeks, so it's, it's created some real milestones. Um, the song is going to be featured in a new movie called The App That Stole Christmas. So after my show in Valdosta in Columbus, mm -hmm. uh, I'm headed to Hollywood and we're going to be shooting for 11 days. That big announcement is coming out in Variety and The sure. Hollywood Reporter soon. Um, so I have a big role in that and I'm nervous. I, I've never acted before <laughs> unless you call what goes on in the courtroom. But my music is going to be in that. Um, and I wrote a new Christmas song. I listened to a lot of Frank Sinatra and a lot of... Uh, um, Sammy Davis Jr. and I rewrote Rudolph, so I have what I call <laughs> Rat Pack Rudolph coming you for y'all. So, and so, your, and so your influences uh, in, in your music, uh, as you were coming up, the, the people that you listened to, wide ranging, wide spectrum mm -hmm. of influences in yes, your music. Yes, and I like how you said, you're, I saw you connecting to the Caribbean and New Orleans. That reggae beat actually came from New Orleans. Sure. Fats Domino over uh, Armed Forces Radio and mm -hmm. VOI, Voice of America. Um, they were hearing it without the, the bass. And if you've listened to the NPR stories, they didn't hear the bass. They only heard the eh, That's eh, correct. Eh, eh. So I'm just, I just came back. You know, I came back to the States. Uh, I am an American citizen, mm -hmm. so yeah, I'm not going back over the border, but I came here for great education. I learned the history of how those two things connect, and I'm, I'm here just to tell um, young people and anyone who wants to be in the music business, forget the hustling. Mm. I think you get your education first mm -hmm. so that you can be a well-rounded individual, then you go after the music business. Sure. So I'm enjoying doing that now. Sure. Uh, looking at your bio and very impressed. Uh, uh, with some of the things that you've been able to accomplish in your life. One of the things that I see, former United States Marine. Absolutely. Thank you Once for your a service. Once a Marine, always a Marine, Semper Fi, served during the Gulf War. Um, I don't talk about it much. I, I lost a lot of friends, you mm -hmm. know, and uh, I was thinking, so one day someone's going to interview me and ask me, hey, what was the Gulf War and that period of time like? And I came up with this one thing. If you've ever been in a car wreck, mm -hmm. that's what it's like. It's sure. life-changing. Um, you're never the same. The people involved are never the same. The world stops, and it's not a good thing, and we should avoid it at all costs. Um, but I did learn my discipline there, and mm -hmm. I enjoyed giving back to the country and serving in the air wing. I was an air traffic controller. So the discipline that I bring from that period into music is why I think I'm out hustling everybody. I don't, I don't care who's out there working. They're not going to work any more than me and my CEO, Miriam Bavley. Miriam sure. is uh, the brilliant brain behind Breakout Music, double Harvard major. And um, so I, I'm, I'm comfortable. I've got good people around me and I get to do what I want to do. So that's, sure. that's what the legend's about. Life in the U.S. Marine Corps influencing what you do now? Absolutely. Um, I'm more appreciative. I don't want to be in that car wreck situation. And I'm disciplined. You look at life every day as a brand new experience when you open your eyes. Absolutely. And I'm going to take that. <laughs> I like that. For me on the road, because you, you asked, you told us, you know, we were talking a little bit off camera. Um, you guys are on the road a lot. And how is it? And it's exactly that. It's a brand new experience, a new town, new city, new people. I'm so excited about Valdosta. I'm so excited about Columbus. Never mm -hmm. been there before. And I'm appreciative of every breath because of that military experience. And I'm um, going through grad school. Uh, I have not only my law degree, but I also have my MBA. Wow. And uh, I did uh, those. I did very well in that. And um, so I'm, I'm happy that I'm here and I'm going through all the pressures of anyone trying to make it in the music and film business. But I have perspective. And I appreciate every day and every experience and every person I meet. You're going to two, mid two major military uh, cities, if you will, okay. in, uh, in, in this tour. You're going to be in Valdosta, that's Moody Air Force Base. Okay. You're going to be in Columbus, that's Fort Benning. Okay. Do you welcome them? Do you welcome service people to your shows? Oh, man, absolutely. I have to. Um, my brother served. Uh, my older brother is still working uh, in the military. He has a very sensitive position, so mm -hmm. I really can't I go into that. Um, but we're, we're a military family. Good. My younger brother served for a brief period of time, too. Um, my older brother went from enlisted all the way into the officer ranks and had some time at the Pentagon and other things. And um, I have to embrace it. I lost sure. very good friends there. And, um, you know, I'm... I, you know, I'm a light brown character, but uh, I would vote for Bush one ten times. Mm. And of course, I went back and voted for Obama. But you've got to figure out where my politics is. I would vote for Bush one and I voted for Obama. Now mm. we're dealing with this current picture in time. So I think young people need to serve. You know, all this getting out there and hustling and making money and doing all these things before you become a whole individual. 
college, the military, and certain other type of things that are more self-giving sure. are important so that we can gain perspective. I can com comfortably tell you my practice because you're like, okay, this, this guy is, you know, yeah, I, I would vote for Bush one 10 times mm -hmm. <laughs> and I would vote for Obama after, the, you know, with the progression. Right. And given the current time, having those experiences helped me to be able to respectfully say that to people so we could find common ground and make this a better country. Yeah. So, of course. Who comes to JQ shows? Oh my, I want all the ladies who give <laughs> us guys a break mm -hmm. when we mess up, sure. when we don't and come home on time. And that's everybody. <laughs> everybody, every mother, every daughter, mm -hmm. every girlfriend, every fiance, every sister, please come to the JQ show and then drag the guys along with you because uh, we have some amazing dancers that's gonna be there, do an Afrobeat dance. Um, but my subject matter, like my song, um, Spend the Night, uh, that's going to be in the uh, the movie and for you. They're real sensitive mm -hmm. and it kind of gives us men a better way of communicating how we feel because I've struggled with that and I think we all need that and that's the opportunity that the music gives us. Where can we find your music? Where can we find it? Uh, breakoutmusic.com. Mm -hmm. So that's www.breakoutmusic, mm -hmm. B-R-E-A-K-O-U-T, music.com. And I am at JQ the legend everywhere, at J-A-Y-Q the legend on Instagram, Twitter, everywhere, and it's all there. Uh, Spotify, Facebook, anywhere. Uh, you just Google me and a bunch of stuff pops it's up. It's gonna all pop up. Yeah, yeah, we're number 11 in the UK on the club charts as well. Wow. Um, I've been over to Con France, that was my first concert this year and uh, at Me Dam, and we have a good situation in the UK, so. It's real, and uh, we, need, we need support, and that's why we're here, and that's why we're here to tell this story. It's not just uh, drugs, sex, and rock and roll mm. in the music business. There are people like us, like me, like you, who now are looking and saying, you know what? I'm gonna go do that other thing I wanna do, and I'm already legendary, so let me go. I mean, so, and, and a lot of us are doing it. Um, you know, it, it, Jay Leno, he's a legend. Mm, sure. And now he's driving around having coffee with people in the yeah. car and all that. Exactly. <laughs> so, exactly. that's where we're at. Well, two things. Number one, let me thank you, first of all, for your service. Thank you. For what you, you have done for your country. And secondly, I wish you Godspeed on your trip. Thank you. On your journey. You have a journey. Where, let me ask you one quick question, 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Where do you see JQ, the legend, in two years? Wow. This is the first. This, you're good. This is the first <laughs> time anyone's ever really pinned me down on that. Um, in two years... I want to build a house that is a coffee shop and also a venue for my friends and family, and I can do a lot of private shows. Um, I want to open this lane up to other young people, and I want to message two groups. I want to message Baby Boom and Millennials, and I also want to message Gen Z that we got to find common ground in America. Mm on many, many, many issues. And the way we do that is being together at colleges, universities, military, strengthen our systems, churches and schools. Then we go after those legendary dreams, okay? Because there's no overnight success. So I want us to be speaking more and doing more film and more music that encourages that, that coming back together as a country and as a strong country as we are. Because I'm afraid of what's happening with China and I'm afraid of what's happening with uh, with the Middle East and some of the things that's going on there. And I think that we can fix that inside. So I want to be a strong voice for what we can be, and that's the best as a community and as a country. Well, I think you already are. I'm trying. I think you already are. He is JQ. Listen for him on the radio, and you can find him on social media. If you'll just simply go, uh, Google JQ, you'll find him there. I found myself a new friend. Thank you. Thank JQ you, brother. the legend. JQ the legend. There Thank he you. is right Thank there. You, Thank sir. you for stopping Thank by. You for and we'll have me. more for you right after this. Thank you.